Today I come back to you in a Chinese style featuring the Jayco J7. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's review. I'm Temba. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for more reviews. I think you might be interested in knowing that Jayco is not a completely new brand. However, it is part of Cherry. And before you notice that this is a Cherry, you'll definitely think it's a Range Rover. One thing about these Chinese brands is that they will always give you a lot of features. Even features that you do not need in a car, they will just give you. And they are trying to give you a premium feel in a car at a lesser price. And that's why a lot of people end up buying these cars. In front, this car is not complicated. You just get that grill with the Jayco signature over there. And you also get LED, daytime running lights and headlights as well as fog lamps. In front, you also get park distance control and a camera. Under the bonnet, you get a 1.6 liter turbocharged petrol engine with four cylinders and it produces 145 kilowatts of power and 210 newton meters of torque. The engine is mated to an automated dual clutch transmission with seven gear ratios. So the top of the range in Feno, it's an all-wheel drive. The J7 comes in three trims, which is the Vortex, Glacier, and Inferno, which I just said it is an all-wheel drive. The claimed average fuel consumption in this car is 7.8 liters per 100 kilometers, of which I think it's gonna be high because the engine in this car is too big. And for day-to-day -day driving, it might not be ideal. Like I said, the side profile is not bad, but it's given Range Rover vibes, you know? And you also get these nice alloy wheels. And let's talk about the door handles. Also something that you can tell that they benchmarked from Range Rover, right? You also get electrical folding mirrors with integrated cameras. And these cameras are going to offer you a 360 panoramic view around the car. And one camera is at the back, one is at the front, and the two cameras are on the side mirrors. Well, give it in Yama China, even the Haval is the same thing. <laughs> it also comes with a sliding panoramic sunroof. Like I said, these brands will give you a lot of features. A lot of features. Some of the safety features included in this car include ABS, EBD, brake assist, traction control, stability control. You also get eight airbags. And with regards to cruise control, you get adaptive cruise control. Quite nice, ne? You also get lane departure warning. And how you see if a car has got this feature, you will see on the side mirrors that orange sign over there. Ah, Buffett, Chinese brands are fighting. Ah, they are fighting. And if you don't believe me, go check out the Ford territory. The car is completely based on the Cherry Tigo 8 Pro. Well, maybe I must just do this. This is the Ford territory outside and the interior. This is the Cherry Tigo 8 Pro outside and the interior. Uh -huh. Coming to the interior of the J7, you get leather seats in the back seat. You also get isofix points for your child seat. You get two speakers on the door panel and also that ambient light as you can see it over there. And then that is quite nice. I like the door handles in this car. And you get sufficient headroom and leg room as well. So with the isofix points, you need them if you've got children. If you don't have kids, what are you going to do with isofix points? Unless you're going to put your cousin's children over there. And the back seats also have a center armrest with two cup holders. Another most important thing to say is that the seats are heated. I like what they did here. You get a USB charging port and a Type-C charging port. So no iPhone user will be complaining that, Hey, Casimo, when I charge iPhone, no. That is sorted. In front, you get leather seats which are heated and they are also electronically adjustable. Like I said in the beginning of the review, these brands will give you a lot of features at a lesser price. Well, did they really have to hide the charging ports like this? You might not even know that you have got charging ports in your car. <laughs> these brands are fighting. Look at the touchscreen infotainment display. Ah, such a big thing. But I won't be surprised. Ford is competing with these ones as well. I think even the Amarok has something big like this. This thing is just too big. And I don't think I'll cope very well with this kind of thing. Well, I still prefer the old radio system that was used in a Toyota Tez. You know, that one. That's what I want. So everything in the car is integrated into the system. You can actually use this screen for a lot of functions in this car. Even drive modes, opening the boot, locking the car, opening windows, everything. You also get integrated navigation. You can always navigate where you are, where you're going, you know, 
all of those things and the screen is touch responsive and you know as i was using it you know clicking clicking then boom load shading <laughs> you also get an armrest with a storage compartment you know my views with regards to an armrest it's a must to have and you can use this rotary shift to select your drive modes you get two cup holders over there and the J7 comes with an automatic transmission as you can see over here. You get a leather wrapped multifunction steering wheel as well as a digital instrument cluster. The J7 comes with a 5 year 150 km warranty and a 5 year 70,000 km service plan. You also get 10 years 1 million km engine warranty like 10 years as in a decade and 1 million kilometers warranty will you get to 1 million kilometers with the jayco and will it last you for 10 years that is the question that will be answered 10 years later after you have bought the jayco the j7 is priced in this manner the vortex which is the entry level cost 549,900 rands and the estimated monthly repayments can be 10,700 rands the mid-spec J7 last year will cost you 599,900 rands. Lastly, the J7 Inferno, which is the top of the range, will cost you 679,900 rands. And the estimated monthly repayments for this one will be somewhere around 13,300 rands. Good people, you can share your opinions with regards to the Jayco J7 in the comment section. Tell me if you'll buy the car or not. And also tell me the reasons why you didn't buy the car and what will be your reason to buy the car. Stay tuned for the next review.